Welcome back, everybody. An award created by a Seattle woman to honor the Pac-12's top offensive and defensive linemen is bringing double love to the University of Washington. That's because for the first time in the Morris Trophy's history, both of the honorees are Huskies. Even more amazing is the fact that this is the only award voted on by players. Please welcome your Offensive Lineman of the Year, Caleb McGarry, and Defensive Lineman of the Year, Greg Gaines. Welcome to you both. Yeah, thank you. We were thank trying you. to do the dubs backstage, but, <laughs> but your fingers are, are a little <laughs> crunched. Yeah, I got a little I wonky. Need help doing it. <laughs> yeah, some people can just do it. Like I know that's amazing. I, have to, I need help. My uh, fingers are too big and messed up. <laughs> <laughs> are you healthy, both of you? I mean, the mom question first. <laughs> Caleb, are you healthy? Yeah, and uh, about as good as you could expect after a five-year career. So. Yeah. What was your most serious injury during college? Um, that I actually got hurt probably. Knee sprain. Honestly, I got my knee, my knee got sprained pretty bad once or twice early on, and that that's it really. What about you? Uh, I'm pretty healthy right now. Good. And I guess my biggest injury I tore my pec my pectoral muscle. I've heard that's painful. Uh, two years ago, yeah. I don't think I have uh. one of those. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> so was it a surprise that that you were both Huskies to win this trophy? Was that kind of a cool thing? Yeah, it's definitely mm -hmm. cool. How do you find out? Do they call you? Some guy messages us on yeah. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I think it was, was it Chor Jason Chorak? J I think it was Jordan Reffitt. Oh, Reffitt. Reffitt. Yeah, he was like, he sent us like a group message on Facebook, like, congrats, guys. Like, we we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, he's like, you guys won the Morris Trophy. I was like, oh, I didn't even know. Thanks. That's Jesus. actually <laughs> pretty cool. Does it have extra meaning because it comes from your peers? Yeah, for sure. Yes. It's, it's definitely a cool thing mm -hmm. that like the players get to vote on it. And, you know, we vote on it every year, too, for like, our opponents that we go against. And right. Caleb, you were very emphatic about that. What does it mean to you? Uh, it's, you know, it's a very special award and it's really a sign of respect from guys that you go against that probably don't like you, but, you know, if <laughs> at the end of the day, they, this, is, this shows that they respect you and that's, that's a pretty big deal. As a person and a player. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, there's been a lot of press around the fact <coughs> that you've had some issues in life. <laughs> <laughs> The family's house burned down. It's only half back in place at this point. Is that right? Yeah, give or take. But you guys are working on that. And mm -hmm. you had some heart issues. Tell me a bit about that. Um, really, they're not, a, they're not nearly as interesting as they sound, in all honesty. Is it an AFib uh, kind of thing? Yeah, just a irregular heartbeats. Um, they think it was caused by stress. Because I had a brief episode in high school. Mm -hmm. And I'd never had it before. And then I didn't have it since until college. Um, and so you had some procedures. What were those? Mm -hmm. uh, ablations. Yeah. They just they take a wire and they go in through an artery and they just burn out the short circuit, so to speak. Well, that to sounds get simple. Back. Yeah, <laughs> no worries there. You had three of those. In total, one was a double procedure, so I actually only had to go in twice. But in total, it's three, I but, guess. Well, we all need a heart, and you're a big guy, so you're all good now, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, it's, right? it's important. Okay. <laughs> How does that sound to you? Like, not much fun? Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> does not sound good to me. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Coach Pete and his influence on you guys. Uh, I mean, you know, he runs his program, like, with a built-for-life mentality. And, you know, he takes good care of us, and you can tell that he, like, really loves each of his players and is, like, invested in us. And uh, he just wants to, like, <clears throat> kind of, like, raise us up to be, like, good men as well as good football players. It's fun as a fan to see that and occasionally to be at practice and to see how that plays out in terms of the way you guys even deal with fans. You get mm -hmm. uh, an opportunity to learn how to do that as well. Has that been fun for you? Absolutely. It's, um, you know, being an old lineman, we don't get a lot of love a lot of time <laughs> because we're just, we're, we're uh, abstract players, so to speak. You know, we're not in the limelight, which is, that's all right. It's probably a good thing, if anything. But um, he really taught us, you know, the good side of that, that, you know, it's good to get attention from fans and stuff and to give them love and show them attention and stuff back. And it's, it's a really cool thing that he's done for the players and stuff. Well, we like him a lot. I sure respect him. <coughs> You're from Fife. Tell us about how you grew up and being from this area. Um, there's not really much to say. <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, um, it's been really, really awesome to be able to stay here for my whole football career yeah. this far. It's been uh, incredible to go through high school in Washington and then a college in Washington. Same, you know, same area more or less too. It's, it's that's kind of amazing. a dream when you're in high school yeah. here is someday you know run onto Husky Field and you've got to do that. It is. It was awesome. Greg, what about you? Um, <clears throat> well, I grew up in Southern California, mm -hmm. 
in a little town called La Habra. And, Where there's uh, maybe that much more sunshine than here. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little tiny bit. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice weather down there. And uh, I actually was uh, committed to Boise State. Right, and then you followed Coach Pete here. Yeah, I don't even have any Pac-12 offers, so. It worked out okay. It was a, nice, it was a free Seems upgrade like to the Pac-12. Seems like it worked out for you. So it was real nice, yeah. So, so this, this thing is all wrapped up now. The next thing that happens for you guys is the draft, right? So where are you in that process? What happens um, in terms of your projections, what you have to get ready for, how kind of a, a big swirl is this activity that happens once you're finished with your college playing days? So we pretty much, I started training on, we finished our Rose Bowl on the 1st of January. Mm -hmm. And then I started training on January 7th for like combine training. Mm -hmm. So we just like, you know, do lifts and like train for like the 40 yard dash and like the pro agility drills and bench press and stuff like that, as well as some position work. And then we're both heading to the uh, Senior Bowl next week. That'll be next Saturday, the 26th. And then uh, after that, we're back to training until uh, the combine in March. Yeah. Same thing for you? Same deal. Yeah, same is the combine deal. at all intimidating since it's the next step up, or is that just kind of normal stuff for what you've been through your whole life? Um, I mean, I'm interested to see what it's like because it is it's different than UW's Pro Day, which is all we've we've done up till right. now. So it's it's an exciting thought, you know, to be doing a next level thing mm -hmm. in in terms of that. But um, reality is, it's just a lot of the same things we've already done. Are your folks so. excited? Uh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. What about yours? Definitely, yeah. We don't. Do you have any thoughts about where you'd like to go? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind staying in Seattle. I mean, that'd be nice, yeah. That'd be but pretty cool. I don't know, I'm just, I'd be happy to go anywhere, so. Anywhere that wants me. <laughs> that's, well, that, those are good answers, and that's right. What are your best memories from being on the Husky team? Hmm. It doesn't have to be memories. just yeah. one, just a, a few that we might remember as fans as well, or maybe not. Winning those Pac-12 championships yeah. is pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah. Both times was all really good memories. Two out of three years. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty cool. Now I understand you're about to be a father, and yep. you have the name all picked out. Yep. What's the story behind that? Because we have a Gaines boy coming. Yep. Next generation <laughs> Husky. Yeah. His name's gonna be Colt Stephen Gaines. <laughs> When's he expected? He's uh, the due date's March 28th. March 28th. Uh, how'd you come up with this name? Colt's a good uh, football name too, by the way. I don't know, actually, my, the first <laughs> time I heard it was from my dad. He wanted he wanted to name me Colt. And like my, my parents had an agreement that my dad would name the boys and my mom would name the girls, but my mom didn't have any girls, so. <laughs> so she <laughs> took to name, one of his turns. My dad turns. got to name my brother, and then my mom wanted to get to name me, so. So Colt passes Colt on was, to the next generation. Yeah, and I, I just really like that name. I think it sounds cool. And it does sound cool. Are you psyched? Yeah, I'm really excited. You guys excited. have a few <laughs> things to look forward to here in the next yeah. few months and years. Congratulations. Yeah, thank um, you. For being such good players and such good representatives of our state and the university here. We appreciate that very much. Thank, thank you. It'll be fun to watch what, what you do next. Coming up next, go inside the mind of a master hacker. We're going to find out from a computer genius named Alien what she did by day and night from the author of this new book. Oh. Back after this.